For Terry Ryberg's second exercise example for tables on page 133, um, you're actually supposed to type out all of the text and make sure to put tabs in the appropriate spots. So for every new column, you hit tab, tab, and it helps to have hidden characters turned on. And then every new row, you hit a return, and then it starts a new row. And so um, I went ahead and I typed out everything according to the directions. And um, also I, I um, typed it inside a text frame that was exactly 20 pikas and 20 pikas wide and 20 pikas deep, which I entered in here. And you can see it looking here. And it converted it to inches, but actually when I typed it in, I just typed 20p and then hit, hit enter in it automatically converted it to inches. So just remember that if you have your document set to inches, you can always still input a pica amount and just it'll convert it as soon as you hit enter. Okay, so um, that being said, now what I need to do is grab my type tool again, make sure all my text is selected, and then go to table convert text to table because I can only do this with my type tool and all the text selected. Um, and then again, it's going to convert all my tabs to columns and then all my paragraphs to rows. Hit OK, and there it is. Um, so now I go ahead and format my table. So there's a couple different things in this particular example that she wanted to highlight. Um, some of the repeat stuff, I'm just going to go ahead, like, um, for example, the top baby names that we already learned. Once I highlight something in my table, my control panel automatically adjusts to all the control panel options. And then there's the merge cells option right there. So I'm going to merge those cells. And then what it wanted me to do was actually drag the top cell so it's a little wider. And then I can center my text. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Um, and then centered, and then also centered in the column itself. I think that's this option, align center. So that these little align buttons have to do with where the text falls in the cell. Um, kind of like the text frame options has that align center. So you want it centered and then you want to align centered in the frame or the cell. And then, um, let's see. They want it also bold. Whoops. Delete that. I see a typo. Um, I think bold was the shortcut for is option control B. No. I'm going to, you know what, I forget the controls because <laughs> it's going to bring up all the frames. Okay. I'm just going to go up and use the control panel. I'm not using the shortcuts for center. And then also, I think all of these I'm going to highlight because they need to be centered as well within the cell. And then, um, let's see, also the rank in girls and boys needs to be, the subtitles need to be bolded, bold, and also the numbers are bold. Uh, this should be a little bit of a review. This should be pretty straightforward. But then we get to the next part, the new part. Okay, so because the the rank numbers are very, um, the type in there is, is minimal, they wanted us to shrink down that column, the first column, by moving it over. I'm just using my type tool until I can see, hovering over that column line until I can see that it's it's moving. But the problem is now it shrinks the entire um the entire table it has been reproportioned. So in order to avoid that, I'm going to go back in time, edit, undo, or control, or command Z, Z, and then I this time as I'm as I'm moving it. Whoops! I have to make sure my cursor looks just right. The double arrow is horizontal instead of vertical. I hold Shift, and now it's um it's evenly, it doesn't change the size of the actual table, it just changes the size of the column. So that's new, but now girls and boys, the girls and boys columns are not evenly spaced. So in order to fix that, we're going to do one more thing. 